Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Oh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. I will see what he wants. Repair all. Revelio. Thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Revelio. Reparo. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Revelio. Reparo. Just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad... You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rag's promise.
You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure.
Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Zerona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> What time, Lane? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. 
I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. 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 I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry.
Revelio. 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 I've always said that travel broadens the... You try coming up with clever passwords day in, day out. Not as easy as it looks. Revelio. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Not for the meek. Tried to stop Rebellion. me, right this cop, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed us in his containment charms, so I took Rebellion. my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd Repair. have one weekly scream. Whee! I'll get you for this. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Rebellion.
Lumos. Revelio. 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 Accio. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. How nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. <laughs> Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! 
Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Hello, Zenobia. What did you need help with? I need someone to collect my gobstones that have been hidden in very high places all over the school. Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? I believe we have some matters to discuss.
I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Revelio. Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Revelio. Revelio. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. Lumos. Revelio. Repero. Revelio. Can I help you? Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in crossed ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Fringo! Levioso! Don't throw away that. Levioso! Repair her. Accio. I 
could never duel like that. Nice work! Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? I'll be dueling solo. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Actually, I might come back later. Suit yourself. I'll be around when you're ready. Hello, Lucan. I'm ready for practice. Glad you keep. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells. If you need to stop practicing. Accio. Good one. That's it. Let me also. Akio. Excellent form. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. Revelio.
I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor? Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Incendio! Incendio. Getting it. Keep at it. 
And do try not to incinerate yourself. Revelio. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hackett. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Revelio. Levioso. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Rebellion. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Ah. 
here. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Revelio. What are you up to now? Akio! Revelio! Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be Revelio. 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 I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for some of these gobstones. If you don't get your act together, I shall fly straight to Hogwarts and snap your wand. Revelio. Repairer. Revelio. No. 